Hey guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a whiskey smash. Actually, today we're doing a bourbon smash because we're using bourbon, uh, but it's called a whiskey smash because you can use any whiskey you want. You could use scotch, you could use Irish whiskey, rye whiskey, whatever. So, um, this cocktail dates back to the 1800s, and I think the first mention of it was in the Jerry Thomas Bon Vivant's Guide in 1882, I believe. Um, but he actually didn't call it a smash. So he called it a julep. So basically it was referred to as a julep with seasonal fruit, which is basically what a smash is. Uh, it wasn't until 1888 uh, and Harry Johnston was the one that actually decided to call it a smash by name. But, you know, I'm sure that this drink even probably predated Jerry Thomas. It's just that Jerry Thomas was the first to write things down or one of the very first to write things down, so he gets credited with a lot of stuff that he didn't do. Uh, my prep for this drink is also a little bit different, um, and I'll show you how, and I'll show you why. And it's actually a lot like my julep, uh, my julep build. So the recipe calls for a small handful of mint. I think a small handful of mint is about, you know, eight leaves, give or take, all right? And then instead of using lime ju lemon juice, what we're gonna do is that we're actually gonna put four lemon wedges in here. This is gonna be really lemony because evidently I got a monster lemon, so. I'm just gonna add one cube of sugar and half an ounce of simple syrup. And then two ounces of bourbon. Today I'm using Evan Williams bonded bourbon, so it's 100 proof, four years old from one single distillery. And honestly, um, I was gonna use this glass, but I think I'm actually gonna get a bigger glass because I'm just looking at these lime wedge, these lemon wedges, and these lemon wedges are so big that I don't actually think that it's gonna fit the way that I make this drink. So just give me one sec, and let me get something like this, a little bit bigger of a tumbler. And so basically what you do is you've gotten your mint in there first because you wanna press the mint, not shred it, and then you want, but you wanna like, um, you really want to, um, press down that whole piece of sugar. You want that sugar to become grain in there, to become sand, to not be a cube anymore. And then also, of course, you want to muddle those lemons and make lemon juice out of them, right? So a lot of recipes call for cubed, cubed ice, but I'm using, I like to use a little crup, crushed ice and then kind of do a whip shake on it, right? So you use crushed ice and by whip shake, I just mean you let it in here and then you just sort of work it like this. You just whip it around. You get your dilution, you chill it. And then I do a dump. A lot of people like to strain over ice, but I just like to do a dump. Kind of dump it all in there. And then, like a julep, you just add a little snow cone of ice right on top of it. Right? And I didn't have these on here, but I'm gonna do a little mint sprig. So you take your mint, you slap it on your hands to release the oil lightly, twist it. So you make like a little bouquet and then you stick it in there. Voila, a whiskey smash, well bourbon smash, bourbon smash.